Well, that's definitely not the kind of wood <laughs> this thing's meant to cut. However, I just want to get the teeth into some wood and see how it does. So, let's see if I can make a little cut along the top of this. Alright, let's see what happens here. going to get that with a chainsaw. Oh wow, that is really nice. You know what? I got almost all the way through. There's just a bit at the bottom connected. That maybe if I kick it, I can crack it open and see the surface I'm dealing with here. Well, before I do that though, I just have to admire the, the, the blade, not the blade thickness, the cutting thickness is really good. So my blade has a, a tiny bit of a wobble when I uh, when I mounted it on there and turned it all the way around. It wobbled like I don't know, like less than a millimeter back and forth as it went around. And I figured that was acceptable. It would cut a slightly fatter line. Oh yeah, that's really it's barely connected. It would cut a slightly fatter line, which takes a little more energy to cut that. However. With a slightly fatter line, it means the blade is never going to get pinched. And that's the thing that really slows down the saws the most, at least in my experience. Particularly if you're cutting any wet wood. Because if you're cutting, cutting wet wood, 
as you're cutting, you know, it tends to warp and maybe expand in places and stuff, and it just pinches the blade really easily. So I think I'm going to leave that blade a little bit crooked. I mean, just a tiny bit crooked. So it cuts this fatter line so the blade can keep going through. Because at no point did it seem like the, the blade was getting bogged down by, by any kind of pinch. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. Cuts a slightly fatter line, but totally fine. All right, let's, let's see if we can break this open. Oh, come on, stinky. It's not held together by much. Oh, I could go another pass, but now I moved the log. Let me just get my saws off. <laughs> All right. Some strong wood. Oh man, now I'm really impressed by that saw. Oh, my lumber mill went through this like it was nothing. This thing hardly had anything to cut and it took forever. Alright, let's see that surface there. Oh man, that is nice! Wow. I mean, you see where I kind of stopped and backed up and, you know, screwed up the, the surface a little, but where I was just going smoothly, which is what I'd normally do. Man, that is a really nice surface. I'm not going to have to plane that at all. Oh, wow. Jeez, that is really nice. This isn't even dried wood. Oh, this probably doesn't come out on camera nearly as well as it does in real life. Man, that is such a nice surface. Yeah, no sanding needed at all. Oh, yeah. You can see a little bit of saw blade marks, but I don't care about this. Yeah. Oh, that is great. I hope they keep getting that kind of surface. You know what's funny? I haven't even done anything with the track here. <laughs> it's just two pipes laying on the, on the ground in the dirt. I was going to put little concrete pieces under each one. Kind of like, like you'd have railway tracks. I don't even know if I'll bother now. I will probably will at some point. But the thing works. Oh, it's beautiful. The other thing... Well, I guess there's a few, you know, finishing little touches. Right now, to move, to move the whole saw part this way, I just do it by hand, shove it around, and then I just attach the clamp to make sure that while, it, while I was cutting, it didn't, you know, vibrate one direction or the other. And then on the up and down, I was, I was going to put a clamp here, but I forgot to put it. And it seems to be totally fine. I don't think it needs anything. It just, you know, this raises and lowers. And it's heavy enough that it stays right where it's put. Which is great. Oh, I love this thing. And then the, the other thing I still have to do is clean off all these solar panels. I'm probably losing 10% of my power. Maybe more. These things are pretty dirty. Yeah, there's a little cleanish spot. <laughs> wow, yeah, that was really dirty. I definitely need to clean those. Oh, man. That was... Oh, that is a really good first test. Oh, I'm really happy with that. You know, when you make something 
from scratch. You put, put kind of a lot of effort into it and you just spend a bunch of time making a thing. I was, I was nervous to test it. Because you never know if you, you made a piece of garbage or you made something useful. But man, when you turn it on and the frickin' thing works spectacularly, it makes like... Oh god, look at that surface. Oh, it's so, it's so nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was a beautiful first test. I'm really, really happy with that. Oh, so good. I'm not even in optimal conditions yet. Because the sun's a little bit high. I got a bit of cloudiness. On a nice clear blue sky day. Oh, yeah. Now someone's going to ask, well, what do you do when it's dark out? I only cut. I'm only going to be able to use this when the sun is out. And it's, like, clear. And I'm comfortable with that. I'm not running some mill operation where the saw needs to be running 12 hours a day. This will be, uh, this will be one of those things where, uh, basically, I can, I can just use it when, when it's a, a clear sky. Sometime in the morning to early afternoon. After that, the sun's too far. Um, and I, I kind of like having things that way. Because then it forces me to not do one thing all day. Because if I have to cut wood, I'll have a tendency to be like, Oh, let me just go 12 hours a day. Like when I was cutting wood with a chainsaw. I'd, I'd, I'd go there first thing in the morning and just like cut all day, all day, all day. And it's, it's exhausting, it's, it's tiring just doing the same thing all day. But this way, you know, I can, do this, I can do this half a day on certain days. And other times I have to do other things. And uh, that's good, because I have a lot of different things I need to do. Oh, man, I'm so happy with that. That went so well. Oh, God. Oh. Mm, yes. Well, let's hear it one more time. <laughs> okay, just then I had full sun. Yeah, full sun. And uh, man, that thing is, oh, it's so good. Oh, so good. This is... Man, I need, I need to get a log up here. Oh my gosh, I, oh, oh, oh I gotta get a log up here. I think when this is not in use, I do not leave the blade on it because I don't want it to sit out here and rust. So it's pretty easy to get off. Just loosen that nut, take it off. See how tight it got. Oh, wow, it's still breaking. It's a pretty sweet blade. You know, if I want to be able to cut faster, I could take some of these teeth off. Or I could just go online and order it. A blade with fewer teeth. I'm sure I can find one. This one has 40 teeth. It's 12 inch blade, 40 teeth. Maybe I should try to get a 10. Now with fewer teeth, it'll cut faster, but a little rougher. This thing cuts so smooth though. <laughs> it could be a lot rougher and still be really smooth. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't have to worry about it right now. I have, I have two of these blades. They're going to last me a while. And uh, I'm not going to have any dire need to cut faster right away. Uh, maybe I'll just keep my eyes out for one. Oh, I'll just order one. It'll get here eventually. And then I'll 